Okay, so what we're cooking today is Mike's, Mike Gwynn's famous chorizo and cheese enchiladas. And uh, what I have done is I have preheated the oven to 375. I've prepared this hot oil pan for cooking the tortillas, and then I will dip them in this, and I prefer the Las Palmas enchilada sauce. Very tasty is and good. Red? Is that a red it's sauce? red, it's a red sauce. And then um, in this bowl here, I pre-cooked the chorizo, which is Mex Mexican pork sausage. And in this bowl, I have mixed the cilantro, the green onions, and the, um, and the, uh, I roasted a jalapeno and an Anaheim chili on the barbecue and mixed those in. So we're gonna go ahead and blend all this together with the cilantro, the chorizo, Well, you want to pre-cook it so it's cool because you don't want to blend it in with all the cheese. And this is um, some Mexican cheese and this is some mild cheddar and we'll leave a little to sprinkle on top. So we take our hands, we just mix all these ingredients together. The chorizo, the cilantro, plenty of cilantro, green onions, roasted jalapeno and Anaheim chili. Okay, so then we have our ingredients right there. What we do is we take these corn tortillas and we fry them a little bit in the oil and you, you poke them a little bit so it doesn't balloon up when you're cooking it. How, how high is the heat on this? Very low. Okay. It's like round two on the gas oven. So we, um, we just lightly coat it with oil on both sides, getting it kind of saturated with the oil. Do you want them to brown? No. Okay. No, you just want them to get kind of soft and with the oil on them. And then you then you put them in the um, in the Las Palmas in the in the in the red uh, enchilada sauce. Okay, and you want to have them keep them so they're soft. Okay, then we we take this tortilla, we put it in the pan, we take our ingredients, we stuff the tortilla with the ingredients, roll it up, and I pre-grease the pan so that these don't stick. Then we're going to take a little bit of sour cream and spread it right on the top, and then we leave it there and we just keep rolling. Fry the tortilla lightly, poke it so that the air gets out, flip it so it's still soft, soak it with the oil. Otherwise the tortillas are too dry if you just do them without dipping them in the sauce and the oil. Take it out, put it next to this one, take your ingredients. Stuff the enchilada. Cover it with a little sour cream. And continue on. Okay. Okay, so you just keep repeating this process. Yeah, it just keeps repeating the process and you keep mixing this up so you're getting all the ingredients in here the cilantro, the cheese, and, and you want to, you know, you, you don't want these to be flimsy. You want to be, to be fat. And um, so you want to roll them so that, you know. So you're really packing them. Yeah, in. packing them in. And then you, and then you, you know, push them kind of against each other so you can keep filling this up for it's going to go into an oven at 375 and cook for about 45 minutes and then when you bring it out you let it cool so that you're not just trying to dish up a bunch of goo you're dishing up the partially formed enchiladas so where did you get the recipe for this well i made up this recipe but it's well known that uh, corn tortillas make the best enchiladas 
And um, it was my idea to add the chorizo just to flavor up and, 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 and make the enchiladas more hearty rather than just cheese enchiladas, just stuffing cheese in them. And, um, you know, I mean, all, all the spices that are in, in chorizo and in the uh, enchilada sauce and everything are typical, typical spices that you would find in, in Mexican-American dishes. Mexican dishes are not specifically like what we have, you know, put together in our country to, to typify Mexican food. So now we're starting 9, 10, 11, 12. Ah, you're gonna go all the way around. Yeah, we go around the side, see? Okay. You stuff this one in, and then what you do is you roll it carefully, like that, so you don't break the tortillas, kind of keep the integrity of the tortilla. And don't worry about getting messy. If you don't get messy, man, you ain't cooking. Yeah. Okay, this is the final ingredients. We've got all our enchilada in here. Now we take some of our Las Palmas enchilada sauce. I'm gonna shake this up because it's been sitting around. We wanna get all that good red tomato. Whoop, spill a little, doesn't matter. You don't wanna to put too much on because you don't want these to get all soupy. So you put that much on, clean up a little bit, and we're gonna take the rest of the ingredients and we're gonna just sprinkle them over the top like this. So that's gonna get all melty now. Oh, is it ever. And then I had preheated the oven to 375. So we will take the enchiladas in this Pyrex dish. And you don't need to cover it. Don't need to cover it, don't want to cover it. Put it in the oven, 45 minutes at 375. And there you have it. Mike's Chorizo and Cheese Enchiladas Suprema. And here is your finished product. Ooh. Oh, Mike Gwynn's famous cheese and chorizo. Chorizo, enchiladas. And now, very important, you gotta sit and let this cool for at least five minutes. Otherwise, you're gonna get a goopy, soupy kind of thing coming out and you want this to maintain its integrity and its form when you put it on the plate. So we will let this cool for five minutes and then we will enjoy a small sampling thereof. So the baking dish is still hot, so what I want to do is take a butter knife and see I'll go around the edge and kind of loosen up. The final, the final product. I can't wait to taste this. So here you have it. Oh, the smell has been driving me crazy. Oh my God, that's amazing. A stunning wow. success for our endeavors. I can't talk.